hello guys so today we will discuss uh, about the creating the storyboards uh, using the storyboard controls uh, how storyboard can interact with the view controls we are creating so that all the stuff we will uh, go through with more some some of the more details and some practical implementation so you, you guys will uh, get some more idea on that how we can do today's so let's create a sample application first of all So first <coughs> open the Xcode version and uh, let's create a new project. Okay, so there you go. Our sample project is ready now. Uh, as we can see, the default view controller they are providing is already available, but let's remove that and we will create our own controller and we'll try to connect with the storyboard let's open up the storyboard as well here also we will remove this controller so we do have a storyboard is empty now we don't have any view or any page right now into the project it's totally empty so let's create a, a new phrase file here so whenever we need to create any new page or new view controller i'll have to go to the i have to go to anywhere in this either we can select the project or somewhere just right click on that uh, go to these many options and we need to select the cocoa touch class then uh, give the uh, page name so let's say we are creating the login page so we are giving the login selecting language as a swift language and it's a subclass of a view controller why we are create selecting view controller because we are creating a whole page okay so page is a uh, nothing it's a UI, ui view controller only so for that we'll have to select a view controller ui view controller here clicking on next and there you go so login page is ready now Similarly, let's create a sign up page also. New file, Coco Test class, and here sign up page. So we do have a two pages ready here. Let's give some message also, some welcome message as a log. So now we are giving the welcome message into the login screen. Similar message will go to the sign up as well with some different text. So now both view controllers are created. Now it's ready for use. But uh, it's just a view controller where we are writing our uh, call of actions and all the business logic we are writing here only so where is the design now so here comes the storyboard part so we'll uh, whenever we'll have to use a login page or something first of all we'll have to de uh, design that part so for that we'll have to go to the storyboard there is no view created for both pages so what we'll do is first we'll create a view part we'll have to create a view controller here so these many options available but uh, uh, as currently we are going to create a whole new page so for that we will select the UI view controller so we are getting now the view controller how the properties we can use uh, let's quickly go through the properties first we have simply created a new view controller now what we need to do is uh, also we need to create a one more because we do have a two pages so So now we have, we have a two different view controllers because we have a two pages to connect. We'll try with uh, both of them one by one. Uh, let's check for the first.
okay so here comes some of the properties available which we can utilize first is we can set up a default device also here let's say uh, currently it's giving us a uh, iphone 11 view so later on also we can change it uh, to the different view also like uh, we are now selecting iphone se as, as it's uh, lowest resolution available and supported so we will uh, choose the lowest resolution available here now by default it's a view controller now we need to connect it with the login page first so how we will do that so go to the inspector window uh, here we can see some of the properties so we have selected a whole view controller so it will ask us to which page we need to connect with so we need to connect with the login page so we are giving the login then we need to identify the storyboard id so we have to assign some of the id which is unique for the pages you can't assign similar identifier for all the all of the pages so let's say we give login page in small use as a storyboard id okay so now a setup is done then what are the options available? here are the basic options available we already discussed in our previous videos how we can utilize these properties so we'll not go that now simply we'll select the view part how we can utilize that so simply we will change the background color for that and we'll keep a separate color so we can get idea that which page is calling so for the login page we'll select the green color simply save it so here login page is already connected now now we have a sign up page pending for the connection so similar thing we will do here uh, select whole view controller go to the inspector and connect with the sign up page so now sign up page is also connected with uh, its design so whatever design we are implementing here that will be connected now with the sign up page and it will be it will be displayed while running the application so right now we don't have any properties we just simply change the color only so we'll get more idea how it will be differentiated so for the login we have a green color for a sign up we have a blue color now as we can see there is no initial view controller setup is done so what we have to do is uh, whenever we are running the application into the X code, we have to ask them to set up an initial view controller. So in this case, we are setting login page as our initial view controller. So simply in inspector window, we can see the check mark here. It's automatically giving the arrow here. So that means whatever pages we, we do have, but the login page will be coming exactly first after the splash screen immediately. So let's see if, how it looks now. We'll try to run the application. So as we can see, green color is our login page. So it's coming there. Also, we have set up in uh, login there. So in log also, it's showing welcome to login now. Now let's say if we need to choose the sign up as an initial view controller. So simply we need to select the view controller of the sign up and change it to initial view controller. Now it will go to the sign up only as an initial. Okay, so it's changing correctly now apart from that what are the other properties that we can use into the storyboard so let's see that suppose we create a simple control here let's say we are keeping a label here in the login page so when we are creating any control here so automatically some properties coming into the picture uh, which we can use some for very common properties for all the controls uh, so this will be the common for all the controllers how we can use that 
suppose we need to these are the area alignments uh, what direction we need to keep let's say if we need to keep it a center direction then we'll need to simply unselect all the things from the outer lines suppose we need to make sure it uh, keeps the ratio for the top side so we can give a tops here suppose we need to set up is a top left then we can give this one by this way we can control now as per the device size changing if you need to make sure that uh, label frame also keep changing or keep updating then what we can do is uh, if we need to keep updating the size and especially the width of the label then we need to simply give the this line and if we also we need to keep updating the height also as per the device sizes then we can give this one also so it will keep updating height and width also and uh, this is the framing part so here we can set up uh, exactly how we need to position the labels exactly what size we need to give so that size we also we can set up here so as you can see the height and width we are giving here here comes the connection part so whenever we are creating any control we have to connect with the controller if we need to do something programmatically on that control let's say this is the uh, simple label on which we need, don't need to do anything onto the controller part so we can ignore the declaration and connection part of for that but suppose we are creating a button or uh, some text inputs that are required majorly required some of the actions on the controller page as well so in that case we'll have to declare that ib outlets and ib actions and we'll have to connect on the storyboard as well and apart from that if you can see whenever we are creating any label so these are the basic default properties that we can use like background color text color we can even hide and show the label we can also change the opacity uh, of the label so shadow color font color these are the basic properties that we can use apart from that if we are going for the, some of the customized solution which are supported and which are available in the application through some of the third party then maybe we'll have to override the class of the label or any control we are using so we can control that from here only uh, simply we'll have to change the class name from ui label to the third party class name whatever we are using so this is how we can utilize the storyboard components here we can create multiple view controllers here there is no limit for creating that and we can directly interact and uh, we can communicate with the controller pages also and also we can create the multiple storyboards uh, how and what we need to display the storyboard uh, 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 that we can manage programmatically as well there are all the options available uh, which we are doing into the storyboard that can be possible through the programming as well but storyboard is just a simple way of reducing the time and we can uh, prepare the designs very faster way so that's why we are preferring and we are using the storyboards also so this is all for the this video in the next video we will see how uh, advanced layouts which are available into the storyboard that can be connected with the pages and how we can fetch the actual values and show there uh, how we can populate there so that's all with, uh, for this video thank you guys